lighting is really bad. It's just gonna keep changing. I'm also realizing now that I forgot my mic, which is not good because the audio on this camera is really, really shitty. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mac, and today I'm bringing you guys another vlog. Starting off the day strong, and it's about 9 a.m. right now, and I'm going to get with Tia because we're getting our hair cut. Us, our singular hair that we share, we are getting that haircut. Me and Matia go to the same hairdresser and a lot of the time when we book, we just book back to back um, so that we can go together and you know, there's really no reason for it and honestly it's probably a waste of both of our time. Just but another excuse how, to spend some time I together. I don't know if I'm going to take off a lot of length. I don't really like how the layering looks right now, but I do like how long it is, but it's also been like two and a half to three months since I got it. In my girlfriend's words, it is cozy season, so I have to keep it a little bit longer. She loves when it's long like this and I wear sweaters. She thinks it's really cute. Anyway, starting out the day strong with a haircut today. I will take you guys along for that and then I'm gonna be going and rock climbing a little bit later. I've rock climbed three times this week, so I'm certainly getting in the time that I missed out when I was not around. And I just have like a bulk of stuff that I need to film today and a bulk of stuff that I need to edit today and probably help my girlfriend pack because she's- So let's grab a tea, grab a coffee, and get to the hair salon. <laughs> Cooper, 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 Cooper. Take him. Oh my god, I know, right? He needs a haircut. I wonder if Autumn does Yeah, walks. Cooper does need a haircut. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, Cooper. I had a mic in my car, so I probably sound a lot better now. But before we go, while I have a little bit of time, I think I mentioned my Halloween costume in a past vlog, but I didn't say what I was doing for it, like how I was going to do it. This so, year's Halloween, I'm being... Romeo, but Romeo in the Knights costume from Romeo and Juliet. I'm really excited. I wanted to do it last year, but I didn't order things in time. This year, I ordered things in For time. For the stuff I ordered, I made this TikTok so that I could, like, show other people on TikTok what I was wearing. But I can just throw the graphic right up here. Um, it was really simple. Most of the stuff I got on Amazon, but, but stuff like the Black Slacks and the Doc Martens I already had, um, which I wouldn't recommend, like, spending money necessarily on those. Just, like, wear a black pant if you have it. And definitely don't buy Doc Martens if you don't have them just for the costume. Like, you can use any black boot. You could go find one from, like, Forever 21 or something. But that's my costume for this year, and I'm really excited. I haven't tried it on yet, otherwise I would show you guys what it looks like on. But I also feel like that has to wait till Halloween. Halloween costumes are the wedding gowns of the fall. And you guys are the groom. So I cannot show you yet, but soon. Hey, everybody! Nikila. Please stop hiccuping, it's embarrassing. I can't. Nikila, you can, and you will. Oh, stop it. You're really pissing me off now. Seriously. I just woke up. You are pissing me off so much right now. Please, for the love of God, can I get some, some peace and quiet for once in my life? I feel bad for anybody that doesn't live in the Midwest right now because of fall. Yeah, that's the only time I'll ever say that. It has this giant ball. It's like, so, oh, I wish I could show you guys what it looks like. It's like, it's the most nerdy thing I've ever seen. It's a mic. It's, can you hear me better like this? What? ASMR. No. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be all. Ridiculous. I was trying to vlog and I literally, I put my coffee right here, like that, and then I picked up the camera and then it literally just went and. Okay guys, back for my haircut. I don't even know if you can really even see it because of the contrast. Back for my haircut. I didn't get very much taken off, just got a little bit, but Mattia had her head shaved. <laughs> this is a wig. It looks like a fucking wig. What? From that angle? <laughs> Look at it. Look at me in that angle. It looks like a wig. I can't see it. Narrator Mac here to I tell you what was going through my brain when I was working on this. Zenith had a couple zero twos that I could not believe were zero twos. This is one of them. The body positioning on this was so weird. I I personally feel like this was a one three, 
Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the grades for rock climbing. There are different grades, and zero to two is supposed to be, you know, like a beginner could do it. I do nice. think a beginner could do this, but I don't know. That's a pretty that's a pretty tough grade for me. So. Maybe I'm just way out of practice, and that's all it was. But this felt uh, hard. Dual techs and zero two grades should never ever go inside. This okay, so wild. like I said, this is another zero two, and for reference. Zero VB is the easiest, and then it goes V zero. A beginner is basically supposed to be able to walk in and do this. For reference, the best I've ever climbed was a V four six, and typically I climb like V two to V five at this gym. Dual text is when the hold is two different textures, and it's nice. very difficult. Half of the hold is like very slippery, so you have to be careful. And I feel like that's way too hard for a V zero, especially considering there are no jugs until the very top of this. But these feel like really hard grades. Okay, so this pink one, this is a pink V24, and this one I guess is kind of my project for right now. I've got the beginning down pretty easily, but this middle part is definitely the crux of the climb. It is difficult. I had trouble with this move moving nice. over to the next hold Keep up, but the heel hook really helped secure that nice. in. Scoop. But then after that, I kept, my feet just oh. kept cutting and I couldn't seem to really stabilize them. So my next goal was kind of to figure out how I can stabilize my feet. Nice and then figure out what hand positioning is gonna work for me to be able to get up to this next pink hold what and pull myself now? up. Which I even grabbed it here, but it is really difficult nice. to hold on Ooh. to. It's a tough pinch and just an awkward was... position, so Ooh. I needed to figure out something different to do. Body weight, I mean your left hand up and keep and pull your body weight to the right. And then when you could get your foot up to the right hand one, then you can step up and grab the big one. You can't, I don't know if you should two hand it. I think you should keep one hand on the wall. Okay, here's me attempting it again, and I don't think I give this move in itself enough credit because this is really difficult. My hand is basically hanging on a sloper, my right hand, and then I have to stabilize with my left leg and move over and grab that hold. So by the time I even complete that move, I felt kind of beat, and yeah, I just gave up. I just felt like it wasn't right. I tried it one more time before I nice. decided that it was time to put this one away for the day and move nice on and maybe come Good. back to it next time. I decided to give this pink one in the cave a shot. It looked not too bad from the ground, but I feel like climbs always look easier before you do them. Um, there was no grade on it, so I don't know what skill level you really need for this, but I thought I'd try it anyway. Started out pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. Just kind of laddered my way up, and then I had to get around the corner to this sloper. Oop, and we bombed it. Ow, on my back, ouch. Desk dropping looks different for lesbians. Sometimes when I stand up on the couch, I feel like a toddler. Yeah, I know. It's like you can't walk. Oh. That's so crazy. Miss Me told me she wasn't coming home today. What's up, guys? It is a lot later. I've just been working as well. I had some stuff come up that I had to finish, and then I dropped my girlfriend off at the airport. Kind of weird to be by myself, but this is like how I used to vlog. Like, you guys are probably more used to seeing me like this, but. I'm trying to remember what I did when I didn't have my girlfriend around. Um, right now I'm just making some dinner, then I'm gonna go see if I can find something to watch. If I can't, I will probably play Stardew Valley, which is really exciting. Gonna keep myself a little distracted, gonna still enjoy my own company. It always sucks when my girlfriend has to leave, but I'm trying to enjoy it for what it is. And you know, just hang out with myself. I like myself, I, I can be fun to hang out with. You guys must think the same, You're, you watch vlogs of me doing my daily things see the same things that i do basically existing through my eyes via this channel so it can't be that bad to hang out with mm -hmm. i made way too many of these i forgot i was only cooking for one person tonight <laughs> Truly rebelling when she's here she never lets me put my edamame shells on the same plate or in the same bowl as my edamame that hasn't been eaten my notes are on the same plate 
You might notice they're on the same plate. No woman can control me for the next 36 hours. No one can stop a bachelor from being a bachelor. And there's no reason why I can't put my edamame shells on my edamame plate with my uneaten edamame. This one's empty, it's already been eaten.